collage is where you get to take something from the past and, and give it a new life. So that's that's kind of, of how I do everything. My studio is a collage. The, the way I dress is a collage. The, the way that I research, um, the way I carry myself, you know, everything is taking bits and pieces from other places and putting it together. Collage happened for me somewhere around the time when I was really trying to find a distinct voice. I think I had made art for a long time, but I really was following the formula. I was a, an easel painter and I worked from life and that kind of thing. Um, but I always loved drawing. And I started to draw on newspaper because it was very fast and free. Um, and something about working on newspaper, because there are already fragmented sheets, probably introduced a kind of collage logic and how I was able to make larger surfaces. Collage has always been a part of my studio practice. It hasn't been the work that I've put out in the forefront. Um, I was an abstract painter for a number of years. I was really curious about the play um, of taking these fragments, these pieces that seemingly didn't fit together and finding ways to bring harmony and beauty um, with the pieces. Collage was really just kind of an answer to my quest for uh, rendering form, which for me is always about presence and representation. And I discovered it as a remedy for what I thought was the flat graphic nature of woodblock printing. So collage gave me an opportunity to cut up my prints and then reassemble them into an image that announced itself to have more form than the flat direct print could on its own. My background comes from photography. That's what I went to school for, but I just never was really interested in, in being the actual creator of a photograph. Um, I rather create images. And so I have no problem not being the original creator of an image, uh, as long as I'm the last creator of the image. Uh, there are times when maybe like I'm like a remix artist, like sometimes I'm like sampling, you know, I might take a color palette that could be as old as 16, 1700, but I can apply that to a particular painting I'm working on. And I, and I often do that and I like that. Sometimes certain color relationships evoke a mood. I loved, love story things. I really do. Um, and so I like finding materials that have a history and I like finding materials that people may discard and find like it's not important to them anymore. And I use those. Um, I like kind of creating a new life out of these old things. I have to create the source material for the collage. So I'm rolling out ink on paper. I'm printing a wood grain onto the paper and then toning that with ink. All of that source material gets cut up and reassembled into the collage. I'm always in a, in a constant state of search uh, because you never know what, what you're gonna find. And then once I find it and bring it back here, I'll spend some time uh, sourcing, which is what I call where I'm cutting stuff out and putting it in those large bins under my table. Um, under those bins are just pages and pages and pages and pages of stuff that I've taken out. And then the last phase is where I start to put them together, start to connect things. The surfaces are accumulated over time. It takes about two or three weeks to make a surface before I start. Um, and that process is adhering layers. Um, so there's literally like a kind of dermis, epidermis, you know, um, approach to building layers. And then when I do work on the top, uh, I often cut away and excavate layers, quite literally. So uh, I can peel and tear and expose the, the kind of subterranean layers. So that, that's really important to me. 
I will spend sometimes two weeks just doing image sourcing and finding, and then I will begin to play with paint and paper on the canvas. And it's almost, it's like a call and response. That's what I grew up in the church with this call and response. And it's like, oh, what is this surface calling? What kind of movement? What kind of body? Um, what is the story that this um, surface is calling for? And then I respond with the imagery. The small spec sheet or drawing that I've made ends up getting projected onto a larger canvas and then I am blocking in almost like a, sort of like a paint by numbers if you will. I'm like sectioning off and blocking in those areas that I've described with the lines and putting in the collage uh, paper fragments in order to render the idea of form. And for me, I let collages build themselves. You know, that's another piece of advice I give and, and people usually are disappointed by that, but it really is the best way to go about collage making. Like you have to start with something that's important and then let it build out from there. I use that same approach because, you know, if, you, if you're forcing the collage in one direction, you may potentially be missing the right direction. When I start to develop the collage, it sort of announces that, oh, if this is space here, then there's gonna be space on the other side there. If this is here, there must be a shadow there. So I start to really think more like a sculptor than like um, a collage artist, I think. So through collaging, I can create fragments that tell me what to do next. I want that fragility on the surface um, and throughout the piece. I don't want it to feel very solid. I like them to feel ruinous. And so I think there's something archeological that I like about that. It also collect, connects them to kind of the global South notion of making more out of little and stretching what you have. Um, so I enjoy that newspaper connects me to those kind of histories. I'm using these storied materials, um, textured, and layering them up, and then I'm excavating, honestly, in the work of pulling and adding and um, working to find, to create some kind of beauty and harmony with all of the pieces and the broken pieces and the fragments. And so that's what I do in my collage work. Um, I think that's a really important work as we begin to um, imagine possibilities for new worlds.